Conor McGregor opted to leave a late-night party with fans and family to squeeze in his second training session of the day, signaling his intensified preparation for his imminent UFC comeback. Originally slated to face Michael Chandler at UFC 303, McGregor's plans were abruptly halted by a broken toe, which coincided with what would have been a celebratory period post-fight. Undeterred by the setback, McGregor, who had been enjoying a family vacation, faced initial challenges with even the simplest tasks like lacing up his shoes due to the pain. However, recent updates indicate a revival in his training regimen. Following a recent excursion up Glacier 3000, McGregor shared a now-deleted Instagram video showcasing his return to double daily training sessions. In the video, filmed within his luxurious Swiss hotel, McGregor emphasized his commitment to training while others indulged in festivities. What they don't see, McGregor asserted while entering a private gym, where he demonstrated his dedication on a rowing machine, they party, I power up. Stepping outside, he reiterated his focus, take your health seriously or find another lane. Yeah? Amidst greeting fans and posing for selfies, McGregor imparted his dedication, highlighting the contrast between his training focus and the surrounding celebrations at the Montreux Palace Hotel. I've got work to do, McGregor conveyed both to his followers online and in person, emphasizing his steadfast commitment. Millions today alone, parties in my backyard and where am I? Still here after hours. Second session of the day, Sunday night. The work won't do itself. Happy Sunday. While McGregor has expressed optimism about a swift return, possibly at the upcoming pay-per-view event in Perth, Australia, UFC CEO Dana White remains cautious. White, speaking with Barstool Sports Robbie Fox, declined to speculate on McGregor's return until medical clearance is confirmed. When questioned about potential return dates in August, September, or October, White dismissed them all, emphasizing McGregor's ongoing recovery and the need for caution. This uncertainty was reinforced during a post-fight press conference at UFC Saudi Arabia, where White underlined McGregor's current health status. I don't know right now, White admitted regarding McGregor's comeback timeline, our schedule is set. Let's wait until Connor is fully healthy. There's no point in discussing specifics until then. September? October? He's not ready. So why speculate? Despite the uncertainty, Michael Chandler, McGregor's long-standing potential opponent, remains eager for the bout. Despite being linked with the lightweight title fight against Islam Makachev, Chandler expressed his willingness to delay that opportunity for a chance to face McGregor. McGregor, whose last bout ended with a leg injury against Dustin Poirier three years ago, was poised for a triumphant return, with ticket sales for UFC 306 indicating massive anticipation at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Responding to Chandler's social media post about a potential clash at the new MSG Sphere in Las Vegas, McGregor's status remains pivotal. Chandler's caption underscored the magnitude of such an event. I've been offered Islam Makachev in October, but if Conor McGregor's little pinky toe is ready by September, let's make history at the Sphere. It could be the biggest sporting event ever. McGregor's journey back to the octagon is marked by determination and anticipation, with both McGregor and his potential opponents eagerly awaiting medical clearance and the opportunity to duke it out in a historic event.